for another after a three turnover game in the road loss at Harvard. Set up at the 48, they will try to get this ground game going with Jared Hunter, good job by De Second down and nine, quick throw, far sideline pass is caught. It's a minimal gain as they hook up with effectiveness running the football. Laraza goes in motion right to left. That's the direction they go, and their possession receiver coming into the game, leading this team. Hunter and Wheeler, the two running backs, left and right at Williams, and they will go on the ground. This is Jared Hunter. You see some of his balance. He's a tough ball at the 34. Far hash. They go trips right, blitz off the edge, quick screen. And it is Ilaraza with the catch, but it's well defended that time by the Hornets secondary. Quarterback keeper off that wildcat look. Hawthorne, but the Hornets in fourth down throughout the course of the year. This could be a big momentum starter if you're Delaware State. Dumping it over the middle, incomplete. They were looking for the tight end. And how about the start for the Hornet Dillman at Washington State, three years at Lafayette, the Patriot League, and now year number one, he is manning the show as he hands it off to Marquess Gillis. <laughs> that was really interesting. It's like, of course I would take you. Is there ever a doubt? Angelos on second down, throws a strike. It's going to be just short starting job. Adams was hurt a couple of weeks ago, so it's back in Angelos' hands. On that read option, ball is loose. Howard jumps on top of it. Officials look at one another in the game's first turnover. The takeaway for the Bison. A little bit of a twist as they go with their version of the Wildcat. This is the other Lafayette transfer, Jaden Sutton, but he cannot shake free of Kenny Gallo. Defensive end, the five-man front for Angelos on this third and nine. Pressure comes, he's hit, and the ball is incomplete. That's the guy we were talking about, C.J. Wesley. Yards. Hunter carried the football twice for eight yards. He's the running back, a four-man rush, and a mistimed route. Communication that time as he tried to hit Nashawn. Even go for, even go for. Second down, Williams will dump underneath, making the catch. Die at the 20, setting free of the tackle up to the 24 yard line goes Braylon Smith, the sophomore out of Winter Haven, Florida. Third down, Williams out toward the flats, pass is caught and tackled immediately. Great pursuit by Coleon Williams, the sophomore, as he. Slow start, though, offensively for the Bison on the road. Series number two, Angelos throws this one nearly intercepted. Terrific read on the play by Carson Starter from his star position for Howard. Nearly had the interception. They'll go on the ground. They'll try to get Gillis established as he plows his way up past the 30 to the 32. Gain of six. Highest so far through the first seven games for Delaware State. Third down, Angelos doesn't run a lot. He's forced to here, and he lost the football. Popped up into the air, and now the fight for it. Let's see who recovered. Week two of conference play in the MIA. See if this offense can get some type of rhythm. Testing the waters over that left side, and Delaware State has been stingy James up front. A, a, a weight advantage, but you've got to be able to get down low and get leverage. Second down and 11. Drag pattern is caught, and a lot of traffic. Good concentration. Hawthorne holds inside four and a half minutes to go. On the keeper, Hawthorne slips free and he's into the open. A foot race. Casey Hawthorne with the 20, 15, finally corralled at the six. And I want you to watch the big fella on this. Be pleased with the effort so far in this opening quarter from their defense. And the ball off, and there is no running lane. That is the Jason inside. Perry. Down in 15, Jared Hunter back in. James in for a couple of snaps. Now it's Hunter out there looking to set up that screen. And it is sniffed out, but unable to bring down the elusive back. And now Hunter picks up a great downfield block. And he is pushed out of bounds at the 46-yard line. That was Darius Fox. First quarter on third down. Third and four. They bring a blitz off the edge. It's picked up. Williams nearly stumbles. Now in trouble, and he's sacked back at the 34-yard line. Brought down by guard line, sealing the deal and sending the Bison into a pretty fun homecoming weekend. 
Gillis trying to stretch it wide. Second down, they will put their speedster Smith in motion to try the power game over that left side. Probably to head out the first quarter, third down and short. And Smith in motion, they will go up the middle with Gillis. In second and third effort, you see his drive as he propels out past the 25, and that will move the chain. Aaron Angelos in this offense, play fake, wants to throw, has plenty of time. Flush from the pocket, rolls along the near side, throws, but it's out of bounds. Good coverage downfield. That was Perrin in the Second and 10 from the 26. Handed off Gillis. Makes one defender miss. Gillis out past the 30 up to the 32 yard line. Marquez Gillis coming into this game. Avrick Spell along the Delaware State sideline. Third down and four. It's a draw all the way, but that does not fool Howard as they stayed home. And Angelos is lost. Jevin Jackson there. Down, four and 25. Finally, a little bit of a hole opens up. Exploding over the right side goes Jarrett Hunter. They can be very effective running the football. And the market just shy of the first down. Now he picks it up. Look at the cut and the plant up past midfield to the 49 yard line. Way to get this rushing attack going. A couple of strong carries, third straight, and Hunter feeling it. See, he has a little extra pep in his step. Hunter on the kick. Comes the focal point of their rushing attack. You see, early Hunter has become that guy. Williams to throw for the first time. He's going to go deep. Hawthorne out there makes the catch. Touchdown, Howard. 45 Williams yards. Williams pass is Casey complete. Hawthorne. To Casey Hawthorne. And what happens when Williams, he knew what he had? You see Hawthorne, the defensive back set down. Hawthorne got behind him. And once we even him leaving, and he gets to the end zone for the easy score. This first half. See if they open it up a little bit. First and 10 from midfield. Sutton, the ball carrier. It's three, maybe four Jayden yards. Sutton Stood up. Carry. That's Jaden Sutton. Angelos throws it down the seam, caught. That's the tight end, E.J. Core, and a first down to the 20. 27 yards to the junior from Waldorf High School, just his second year at tight end. Sutton out of the Wildcat. They'll hand the ball off. This is in, just a flag flies. Looks like maybe a hold on the edge from San Antonio Community College. Penalty half and downfield. It's going to be first and 15, and Sutton. Snowed under back in the original line of scrimmage. And they won the Celebration Bowl. They brought back a lot of players, and they seem to be in a rhythm, uh, winning pretty much every game that they've played outside of the UCLA ball game, which, you know, no one. First trip into the red zone today from Delaware State. Motion there. They go with Gillis up the middle. Hole opens up. Gillis inside the five. Carries the pile in. Touchdown, Hornets. Once again, eyes away from the eye candy. You see the jet sweep motion. You see, you know, some counter motion. But the linemen, what they're doing, they're going and getting up the field. And you see the push. Look at all the white jerseys in the end zone. That is what you're looking for is white jerseys going backwards. A good Checking off here on the play. Quentin Williams, the 6'5", fifth-year quarterback, shows that option look, pitches it to Wheeler over the right side. And Wheeler carries a defender to the 42, a gain of seven. A little bit of a different twist. Second down, second straight carry. Wheeler keeping those legs churning, willing his way toward what appears to be a Howard first down. They're going to mark it at the 40 in special teams. Two time all Miak, one of the more electrifying return men in the conference. Deep shot, Williams, long ball, Ebron out of bounds. Good coverage that time. Blanket coverage by the second. Play clock inside 10. Wheeler. His way up to the 42 yard line. Maybe a touchdown saving tackle there. Got to make those tackles when you get those opportunities. That defensive coordinator, Daryl Wilson, told us just can't go as physical as they want right now because of the health of the team as they take a shot with the post route. Broken up beautifully, incomplete. That was take some shots downfield. 7 of 11 in this first half with 88 yards. A hot hand has been Wheeler. Man, how 
much of a luxury as this. You can just pop in all these different running backs. First, it was Hunter. We've seen that box. Look, you don't have any safety up over the top right now. Third down, and this is Hunter. And another third down conversion. Hunter inside the... Delaware State's going to bring Estes up on the edge. On first down, and there is no hole to be found for Jared Hunter. Game tackling inside, one of the first ones in there. Second down and 10, they bring Goings off the edge. He gets to the quarterback, Williams dumps it off. Hawthorne with the catch. Tackled immediately at the 26-yard line. Underneath. Empty set, Williams looked left initially, now feeling the pressure, and he keeps his balance, falls forward. And this is going to be real close, all depending on the spot. We get the first down. So there becomes now the five-headed monster running the football. Stretch play over the right, change of direction as Hunter wanted to cut it back, but there was no way. Best performance of the year so far by this Hornet defense. Williams nowhere to go downfield, and that's a coverage sack. He is dropped Williams back at the 20. Touchdown pass to Hawthorne. Puts two receivers right, two left. It's a five-man rush. On corking near side. This is incomplete. Hawthorne, the intended Benson target. To Hawthorne. So Delaware, what he has seen so far. Aaron Bickerton on from 39 yards. He's perfect this year. Six for six. This kick on the way. Plenty of leg, and it is good. So Bison with the edge. In the rushing department, a bit of a bigger advantage through the air. Angelos will try to change that, and he does. That's a good start for Delaware State up to the 49-yard line. EJ Cole. The same personnel in there from Howard. You don't want to allow them to change personnel. Four-man rush. They drop seven in the coverage. Again, it's core. Again, up ahead to the 39. Another double-digit gain. I mean, in just checked into the game. He's an excellent receiving back from his running back position. Now taking a shot. 50-50 ball high up into the air and it's knocked away incomplete they were looking for lolly their two boundary corners both ray williams who made that last play and robert jones second down and 10 angelos with some time now flutters and throws incomplete he was looking for the tight end that time a couple of bison to tied at the half Keen Smith is the track star, number 10. He's the slot. They're going to try to free up Inge, and he nearly blew a gasket as he tried to make a plant and cut. And now let's see how these two teams are going to manage to get on the same page to start this second half. Delaware State at 1-6, and six, Howard at 3-4. and four. They will go to the air, a little knuckleball screen, and here's the speedster, Smith, just as he got ready to open it up and really let loose. Championship also set a record time in that event. Eighth fastest at the time in the entire United States. Angelos comes out gunning through the air. Second straight completion on first down up to the... Delaware State stays on schedule. Second down and a hole opens up and into the secondary. Up to the 40. Finally tackled at the 36-yard line. Wade Inge. Veterans for Delaware State. 19-yard run, first down. Angelos throws, passes, caught. This is the transfer from Arkansas State, Kaheem Walid, his first catch of the day. The years wanted a fresh start, and now here he is in Dover. First down, Angelos nowhere to go. He is going to try to make the most of anything there as a flag flies. He went into somewhat of a protective slay throughout the course of the season. Offsetting penalties, they try to get Smith going again. Same play, and he lost the football, but Delaware State is there to jump on it. Heads up play by Lock. Third down and short. This will be Inge trying to surge ahead. Still keeps those legs moving. Boy, look at the drive. He will not go down, and that is all Wade Inge on the left side of his offensive line, almost like a they can run the ball, they can pass the ball, and they've won games, you know, at blowouts, close games, overtime games. That's kind of done it all this season. Angelos in the double coverage. He was looking for Smith, but good coverage downfield, nowhere to go. Big number eight, the junior out of Maryland. Second down, this will be Gillis. Patient run, waited for a hole to open. Did, he burst. 
11 yards for Gillis, zone for the Hornets. Gillis scored the touchdown back in the second quarter. A bit of a difficult exchange there as Gillis gets the call again, picking up two yards. Carson Hinton the tackle. Receiver right with Lolly. Second down after the penalty. Pressure comes right up the middle, and Angelos dumps it. Let's see how they're going to rule this. Clearly, he was for the second half, third and 13. Angelos on the delay. Inge cannot get away. He is caught right at the line of scrimmage. Very conservative play. Ethan Wilson, 4 of 11 this season. Officially from 37 yards. Left footed kicker puts it up, and it is good. But there is a flag down, so let's wait. Once again, you know, Wheeler has kind of set himself apart from the other backs running the football early in this game. Williams will throw. Hawthorne has been his favorite target today. Casey Hawthorne holds it in, reels it in around the 30. You just see what he brings to this offense when he's healthy and the versatility. Hot skipping through a little bit of a crevice. Jared Hunter finishing the run. Plows his way up to the 40, 10 yards for Williams readjusting his tight end. Gets him off the line of scrimmage on this first down play. They stretch it left side. Hunter. 45-yard line, good surge on first down. Tackle in the last football game. Just a couple of touches for James today. That time, Delaware State was ready. They had the numbers advantage. Nowhere to go for Hunter, a loss of a yard. Building with Delaware State. Third down, they bring a linebacker blitz. It's picked up. Williams throws, and it's a strike. Pass is caught at the 42-yard line. Braylon Smith, terrific job by the offensive line to pick up the blitz. And pounds of muscle as well. Wanted to get bigger so he could handle some of those hits. Williams wanted to go deep. Nothing there. Now flush throws, and he's forced to just dump it and throw it away. Good coverage downfield by the Hornets secondary. And play clock down the five. Williams puts Illaraza in motion. They bring a blitz off the edge. They dump it out. James with the catch. Really stumbled out of the gates, and he has nowhere to go. And you gotta get James help from your teammates on the outside. Coleon Williams talked about the depth he provides at store. Excellent athlete, great speed, showed some of the wheels on that special teams play. So Delaware State with all the momentum in this third quarter as they We'll hand the ball Jesus off, nowhere to go, a yard, and plays 57 yards, more than six and a half minutes off the clock. We'll try to duplicate that. Sock gets popped just as he hit the hole. Two-yard game Jesus setting up, coming up. Delaware State, the two on the play clock. Angelos backpedaling, giving up some ground, and he's forced to throw it away. He heard the footsteps. Angelo's pass is incomplete. Up front, Mark Cook and Montez winning at the point of attack. Ian Wheeler, look at his footwork as Wheeler runs down the far sideline. There is a flag down. Wheeler takes it all the way up near midfield, but a flag back at the... ...and have the vision to cut off of him. So it ends up being a net of eight. They go right back to Wheeler, and he'll pick up the first down to the 20. <laughs> On the 20-yard line, Wheeler lowers the pads. Goings from his linebacker position, one of the top tacklers on this defense. He's one of those downhill no fun in this conference. One of the greatest statements ever made by Coach Wayne that was made. You play to win the game. <laughs> and when you look at Delaware State, they... Second down and 12, Williams with a pocket. He'll settle and throw. Ilaraza makes the catch at the 36-yard line where he is greeted immediately by Charles Brown. This offensive line. Third down and eight. They send five into a pattern and along that far side, a first down caught by Hawthorne. Boy, he's been ripped. Second down. This is Hunter again on the plus side as he spins his way to the 48, setting up a very manageable. Hawthorne will line up as the slot to the top of the field. That's the direction they want to go. Pass out in front. Hawthorne dives. Did he make the catch? Yes, he did. Casey Hawthorne. Going down there to try and get the win. 
So a couple of third down conversions as Hunter spins his way up past the 35 to the 34-yard line. Jared Hunter, yards after contact. He's had the majority of his yards fall. A lot of check downs here. Williams continuing to look over toward the sideline. They will give it to Hunter. Jared Hunter up to the 30-yard line. That is Rickham Strick bringing the two-yard advantage for Howard. Second down, Williams with all sorts of time. Zips it over the middle. Hawthorne the catch and a first down. First and goal for the Bison. Watch. Three catches on this drive. He's receiving at the top. Eaton James slips and balls. Man, we've seen a number of players just successful from the quarterback. Second down and goal. The ball just outside the five yard line. He is going to throw it. Far side pass caught. Ebron tried to power his way right through the defender, but holding his ground and making the open field tackle. And got to his power, running the football and trying to get up the the ball off. This is Hunter, second and third effort. He's in. Touchdown, Howard, Jarrett Hunter. Drive for Delaware State. Not yet, no. Not yet. Not yet. You know me, I'm conservative, though. We've worked it. Many years together, you know I'm more the conservative guy. I'm on the defense, Jevin Jackson, since he was 10 years old, wanted to play for Howard in this football program. They take a shot over the middle, and it's E.J. Core with the catch up to the 44-yard line, 22 yards on the soft touch. And as he burst at the seams this year, just his second year at the position. Angelos against the four-man rush, throws near sideline, making the catch as lead. He is tackled immediately by Ray Williams. Gain of fast. Angelos barking out instructions. He will hand the ball off. Gillis with a first down carry to the 42, a gain of five. Marquise tackled Gillis by Terrence Holland. For Delaware State. First down, they bring a blitz off the edge, and that forced Angelos to get rid of it before he wanted to. Lolly had not quite got to his spot of space. Second down and 10 from the 44. Angelos looking left, throws it that way, making the catch out of the backfield. This is Gillis, and he just lowers those pads. Man, look at him finish this run up to the 27. That gets this Pass crowd inside Alumni Stadium. Coming right back at Howard, it seems like each of these teams has had a response for the other. We haven't seen a lot of scoring, but when one team scores, it seems like it's the opponent who counters right back. Wally, the receiver at the bottom. Angelos in some pressure, and he is hit. Sacked at the 27-yard line. Man, he twisted away from the initial wave. A nice job just managing this game. Second straight week without a turnover. Inge trying to stretch it wide. Stop and go. Another flag flies. Inge does his best to pick up positive yards, but a flag thrown in the vicinity of a hole. And the hole, the young man at 240 pounds playing outside right tackle. Little bag of tricks here on the end around pass. They want to throw it back. Jump ball, 50-50, and it's intercepted by Howard. Picked off by Williams, and the Bison defense comes away with the game's key turnover. And you, you, there's no every bit of clock possible on this drive in between plays. Hunter, not much up to the 34-yard line. 14th carry of the game. Hornets can only stop the clock one more time. Williams will hand it off and a first down run. Initial cut at the line of scrimmage up to the 38-yard line. All four. Taking that snap with just a second on the play clock. Nowhere to dance for Jared Hunter. You haven't had enough time to snap the ball. Call time. Hunter bouncing it to the outside. Wants to make sure he stays in bounds. Picks up a downfield block and then some. Still on his feet to the 27-yard line. And that is going to be the exclamation point here for the Howard Bison. And now in year four, and Howard trying to get this thing back to the top of the knee out. That last replay, as we saw when Hunter stepping out of bounds around midfield, the conference collide. But the difference this year for Howard, they get them on their home turf. And you look at the depth that Howard has, and I think that you know, catching the football. 
two weeks, two one possession victories for Howard. But in the end, it is a win, and they earned it today here on a gorgeous afternoon. In